Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. A lot of people come to me with a concern that Abhishek, I have completed the DevOps course. I have also done a few DevOps and cloud certifications, yet I am not able to clear the interviews because of the lack of real-time experience. Many people tell me in the comment section that the reason for the failure of their interviews is actually because they don't have practical hands-on experience. They were not able to explain the scenario-based questions. They were not able to explain about the project that they have worked on, or they were not able to explain about the challenges that interviewer was asking for. Honestly, these are very genuine and valid concerns. And even if you have such concerns, don't worry. In today's video, I have got solution to all such problems. I am going to introduce you all to a platform that has created a free imaginary organization and an imaginary project where you can join that project and work as an engineer who is working in a real-time project where you will be assigned task per day. You can solve that task and you can gain practical hands-on experience as if you were working in a real-time organization. Isn't it super exciting? Let's explore the platform and I'm also going to share many other things that this platform is going to provide. So this is the platform that I was talking about. Code Cloud Engineer. We all know about Code Cloud. They have developed another platform called Code Cloud Engineer. I will put the link in the description as well as pinned comment so that you can access this platform directly. This platform is designed to help aspiring DevOps engineers with real-time project tasks. You can create a free account with Code Cloud Engineer, which I'm going to do in a while. And once you create a free account with Code Cloud Engineer, you can access their imaginary organization called Xfusion Corp. So Xfusion Corp is a MNC that deals with military and defense related industrial products. You get to access the complete documentation of Xfusion Corp, the architectural diagram, infrastructural diagram of Xfusion Corp and the project that it currently has. You will be assigned one task per day of the Xfusion Corp project called Nautilus. And you will also get the feedback for the task that is assigned to you. Let's explore all that. First, we need to create an account with Code Cloud Engineer. Click on the login button. You can create a free account, either signing up with Google, LinkedIn, or GitHub. So let me use Google. So once you sign in, you get to see an introduction video from Mumshad as well, explaining about the platform. And then this is the most interesting part. You get a video introduction about the complete project that Xfusion Corp has at this point of time. So you can see Xfusion Corp has a project called Nautilus, which is something that you are going to work on. So you can see the complete project overview through this video. You can also read the complete project details through the architectural diagram and the documentation. I'm also going to show it, provide the basic details that are required here. And another important thing is you need to pick up two areas that you would like to focus on. So you have different options, Ansible, Cloud, Docker, Git, 
Jenkins, Kubernetes, and Linux. Let's say I would like to choose Kubernetes as the first option, and let's say I want to choose Git as the second option. Once you choose, click on the Done button, and you will be assigned with the task for the day. Now, this is the task that I got assigned for today, which is deploy a pod in the Kubernetes cluster. And once I start the task, I will be provided with the details that are required, like what should be the name, what should be the label, etc. I will start this, but before that, I want to show you another interesting aspect of the platform. This section called project details. If you go to it, you can see the complete architecture. I'm quite surprised how transparent is the platform because you can get to see the complete architectural design, just like how a MNC has code cloud engineer team has built X fusion corp in two regions. One is North America region and other is the APAC region. So the infrastructure is available in both the regions and in each region, again, they have multiple availability zones. So you can see here a uh, Stratus uh, data center and then there is Apollo data center where the infrastructure is available on both of these data centers. There is also a firewall that is set up and a DMZ. Similarly, in the other region as well, in the APAC region, there is a Jade Lake and Phoenix data center. So you can spend time, understand how the web servers are set up, understand how the database servers are set up. You can see the load balancer configuration, the client configuration, the gem server configuration, which is quite interesting. I have explored the architecture. It looks exactly how a startup or MNC would create their infrastructure. So once you gain understanding of it, after a thorough overview, go and start the task in the active parties section, practice section. So my question, the task that I got for today is deploy a pod in the Kubernetes cluster. Can I do more than one task per day? Definitely you can do, but either you would need a code cloud pro account or what you can do is you can be active on this platform. So platform offers various ways of you gaining these points. You can see if I have to unlock the next task, I need 250 points. You can get this 250 points in different ways. I'm going to cover in the video. First, let's explore this. I want to see how I want to show you how real time is this task. So the Nautilus DevOps team, which is our project, they have a requirement. They are diving into the Kubernetes for application management. They are just starting with it. So they have a requirement for Kubernetes pod creation, where the name of the pod has to be pod HTTPD. The image for the pod is also provided. A tag is also provided and the label is also provided. So all that we need to do is we need to create a pod according to their requirement. kubectl is installed on the jump host. If you look at the architectural diagram, there is a jump host to which we got the access and through the jump host, we are going to create a Kubernetes pod in one of the data centers. So for that, Let's do one thing. Let's intentionally create a simple mistake. Like I will be creating a pod without this label so that you can understand the level of feedback that this platform is going to provide. So if I just do, I will do a pod.yaml file. And within that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up few things as per the requirement and going to miss few things intentionally. And 
let's do this as pod httpd okay i miss the label intentionally let's save this and let's apply the pod kubectl apply hyphen f pod.yaml so the pod is created now i have created the task i have completed the task i can click on this button called check which will provide a detailed feedback if the pod created is as per the requirement or not so it explained that the task has failed and it is also going to provide us the feedback now like what exactly did we miss so it says label is not as per the requirement container name is also as per not as per the requirement right the requirement of the container name has to be httpd container but i have provided it as pod hyphen httpd so it can give you this level of feedback and as you go forward and as you do more tasks you can see the feedback system of the code cloud engineer is very strong that you can learn while performing the task now going back like how can i do multiple tasks per day like abhishek okay i have completed this task now i want to do this one but how can i unlock obvious way is you can create a pro account you can uh, take an account a paid account with the code cloud engine and you can do n number of tasks there is no restriction or you can refer a friend get 500 points similarly if you complete the task in the very first attempt you will also be assigned with some points and similarly you can create a streak and for the streak you have x number of points if you share your success on the social media platform you have x number of points and additionally if you review someone else's work so code cloud engineer this is the best part for example i have got this task wrong i can ask for review the task cannot be attempted until the review is complete like i can ask for review from others on the platform and if you review others work again you are going to get some points so you can be quite active on the platform just like if you go to the leaderboard you can see lot of people who are active on the platform and they have got a lot of points so this is how you can do multiple tasks per day as well or you can continue with your free account and do one task per day and gain practical experience you can see the curriculum the complete curriculum that is going to be covered in this particular thing in your subscription you are going to cover all of these things you can track your progress you can take a look at the timeline leaderboard this is the task review section where you can collaborate with the other peers on the platform and another interesting thing that is developed by the cloud code cloud engineer platform is you can initially start with the system administrator related task and then you can be promoted and deal with the devops engineer task finally you can be promoted and deal with the devops architect or the cloud architect related task so this is how you can learn practically on the code cloud engineer platform again i will provide the link in the description as well as pinned comment if you are interested explore especially for the practical experience i would highly recommend this platform thank you so much for watching it see you all in the next one take care bye bye